Hey, I'm Jamie. I'm Sydney. I'm Noah. I'm Graham. And we're Echo Smith for Box Match Congrats on talking, James. How does it feel to have that music out to the world now? It's your first record. Insane. I mean, it feels so good to finally have more than three songs out, you know, in the, I don't know, the whole world. I guess. It's kind of weird. Like, it, everyone has access to it now, and it's really cool to, you know, share all 12 songs and 14, you know, the deluxe. I don't know, we're really excited about it, and people are singing along with the shows. It's been, it's been really cool. And then Sydney as a vocalist, are there any female artists that particularly inspire you? I mean, I I never listened to too many, you know, female fronted bands or whatever, but I mean I always, you know, have loved I mean I love Katy Perry and I still do, but her first record especially was just like, dang, um, that was like one of my favorite records ever. Um, and she has just such a great tone too and it's you know, breathy, but you know, you can tell she needs it, you can feel it too. So, um, I mean, she was one person I always, you know, looked up to and was like, gee, she sounds good, you know, almost all the time. She's great live, which is super important. Um, so, she is a big one for me. Okay, cool. And Echo Smith is literally a band of siblings. So, what are some pros and cons of uh, being in a band and touring with your siblings? Any sibling rivalry at play? Uh -huh. Not, I mean, not really. Surprisingly, it's like, I mean, we're family, we, you know, argue, and just like any band would really. I mean, it's not not really that much different from what we've seen with other bands. Because I think it ends up, you know, becoming a, you know, kind of family kind of bond with the band anyway. So, we get we get along a lot better than most people think we would. And yeah, it works out well for us. If anything, our fights usually revolve around who took somebody else's food or something. <laughs> so, it's not really like we have some crazy, I mean, of course, we have our moments. But, uh, but it works pretty well for us. And then, as members of the millennial generation, you guys are really active on social media. So how do you think that has helped you guys as a band, and what's the value in posting on those sites? I think it's cool because in modern day, it's, it makes it so much easier for a band to connect to the fans, not, not just with their music and the songs that they write, but also with like, being able to actually talk to them and have conversations with them. For sure, social media for us, we really want to use it for that so we can make the fans feel like we're their friends. Because we, you know, we're the same age as a lot of them, and because their music, our music, we sell to them, that means a lot to us. And so it's a, it's a really cool dynamic that it creates. And we just want to use it for what it is, and you know, it's pretty good. And then you all have been involved in music for a while now, but you're also very young, so I'm sure you're learning new things every day. Um, so have any of your tour mates kind of taken you under their wing and showed you the ropes? Yeah, I mean, the bands, we've been really fortunate to tour with some really, really great bands. Um, even the bands that we're touring with now, Channel Live, Downtown Fiction, and For the Foxes. Um, I mean, we toured with two of them before on Warped, and, um, and they're all, I mean, it's really cool because, you know, nobody really looks down on us because we're young. If anything, they take us under their wing. Um, but, you know, like, Kyle from Downtown Fiction is, for example, helped Graham out and given him some tips on drumming and, you know, just because he cares. And it's really cool. Um, we've had a lot of good interactions with bands and made a lot of really great friends, um, which is super important in this industry. Friends are a big thing. Yeah, and it's funny. Too. It's like most bands don't realize how young we are at first until we actually, like, talk to them more. And until they offer start, us beer. Yeah. They're like, hey, oh, yeah, are you going to drink with us after the show? I'm like, oh, I can't get it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. And what are some of the most helpful tips that you've learned on tour or just about the industry in general? I think hard work is a big thing. I mean, like, especially on a warp tour, we got to really um, learn, you know, that the work you put in, you know, really does pay off. You know, like, meeting with the fans, you know, having that really cool, authentic, genuine, you know, like, experience with the fans and people watching you play, you know, it goes a really long way. And that's something we found in our careers to be really important. And, you know, all these bands that we see do really well, like, they have this really special connection with their fans. And, you know, that's something that we really look up, you know, look up to and really try to follow through with it. And you guys have been on the road for most of the year between Owl City Warp Tour and now the other side tour with Tonight Alive. So what are you most looking forward to going home? Uh, food. Yeah, food. <laughs> food at home is always nice. And also LA too has some of the best. I know he's talking about actually making food at our house. 
But LA does have some of the best like food spots in general. Um, there is this one uh, cafe that I went to all the time when we were home. It's called Republic of Pie. And I and they have the best chai tea latte I've ever had. So I'm super bummed because everywhere I go I keep trying to get one and none of them taste the same. So that's like the main thing that I'm looking forward to when I get home. I'm getting that the day we come back in town at least for our off day, like right before an LA show. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I think the weather's gonna be really <laughs> nice too. It's been and we're California kids, we grew up with it, it's cold here. And we don't really know how to deal with it. Yeah, we've been <laughs> having a good time. I'm wearing shorts, like, I don't know why, but whatever. Alrighty, and then, do you have any big plans in the works for the new year? Touring. Lots of touring. Yeah. Right. Um, we have some exciting things coming up um, that will be announced soon. Um, that it'll be on EchoSmith.com pretty soon. But yeah, we're excited, lots and lots of touring is in the books for next year. And we're really excited about it. Okay, and then anything you'd like to say to your fans? That you guys are awesome. I mean, that's the main thing. And keep checking agosmith.com for new news. And look at the album. Yeah, yeah. and come see us on tour because we love playing live and meeting you guys um, the best. So, yeah. Awesome. All right, well, have an awesome set and thanks for Thank your time. You. Yay.